I'm gonna put the pedal to the metal here and go. I get asked about four travels more than any other coach. Today I'm hanging out here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida, and I found this 2020 four travel realm that is listed for sale here. This coach has a ton of equipment that I'm excited to tell you about today. First of all, it's on the Spartan K4 chassis, where a lot of the other Highline motorhomes are on the Spartan K3 chassis. This also has the Cummins X15 with 605 horsepower, as well as 1,950 pounds of torque. It's got the steerable tag axle, 20,000 pounds of towing capacity, and a lot of other cool stuff that I wanna show you. So let's go take a look at this coach. The first thing I wanna point out on the front end here is, it's a great looking front end of the coach. You do have collision assistance as well as uh, adaptive cruise controls. That adaptive cruise control is something a lot of us have been getting used to in our luxury cars. When we go inside too, I'm gonna to show you, it's got the 360 camera, a lot of really cool stuff. This has the executive step right here. So if you look at other diesel pushers, this is a much more industrial built step than other coaches. Now. Going into the paintwork here, a lot of cool stuff going on. You can see these big gold pinstripes with marbling in between the pinstripes. Another thing that 4Travel does is these slide outs. You can notice these are fully rounded off and they don't cut any corners at 4Travel. One other thing I want to point out is these are painted below the slide outs as well. You can see that's all totally finished out. It even has some of that marbling up underneath the underneath the slide as well that I was pointing out in the paint job. Now, talking about the paint job, I wanna show you guys something else too. If you look right here, it's kind of a darker gray. And then as we slowly come back here, you're gonna see it fade into more a lighter gray. So uh, here it's, it's a different color than it is at the front of the coach, but a lot of really high-end equipment. Another thing 4Travel does is this exterior TV that's in the slide out. So you're not going down into your basement base to get to your entertainment center. All right here with the JBL sound bar and a Samsung TV fully lined with carpet. And then I wanna show you guys too real quick, 4Travel doesn't cut any corners. You can see all that marbling in the paintwork and you can see it even goes into the jam of this bay here really says a lot. When you start going, it automatically locks all of your bay doors for you. So all I have to do is press this key fob here, unlock those and we're good to go. So going into this first bay, now I wanna talk a little bit more about the K4 chassis as opposed to the K3 chassis. The Spartan K4 chassis has a tubular structure. So it's a, it's a more robust uh, chassis than the K3 chassis, but you also have more height in your basement base. So this first bay is gonna be a, a freezer here with the pull-out tray. Pull these two little levers back. That'll manually pull out. It is a Norcold refrigerator freezer there. Bay two is gonna be a large storage bay. It is a full pass-through bay with the slide-out tray. It is a power slide-out tray. You can see that light turned on. It's got the motion sensor on the light, so that did turn on when we fired it up there. Bay three is gonna be another large storage bay. You can see how much storage you have down here. These are much taller than a lot of your conventional motorhomes. It is on a motorized tray again, so we just press this button. And this is a 1,000 pound uh, capacity here. You can see a lot of extra goodies still come with a coach here. Like all these, uh, like these decor pillows. And then another safety feature that I wanna point out that this coach has is the Tyron tire band. So there's the kit in case you need to change your tires. That's very important. And that's one other thing I forgot to mention too. This has the 365s on the steers up front here. So much bigger, you've got a lot more rubber connected with the road. Now that Tyron tire band is a safety feature. If you do have a blowout, it will help keep the motor coach stable uh, rather than reacting as much as it would without those Tyron tire bands. Going back to Bay 4 here. 
another large storage bay, a lot of height here, all fully lined with carpet. This is gonna house your dirt devil, uh, as, uh, as well as your water softeners. And then the aqua hot and the hydraulic system is gonna be on the other side there. Bay five back here is gonna house some of your holding tanks. You do have a manifold system here. Uh, so if for some reason there's a leak somewhere in the coach, you can manually control your water system, keep using the rest of the coach. So one little leak isn't gonna shut you down. And you look inside this very clean inside of all the basement bays here. Everything is labeled very well. Yeah, so going in the back of the coach, I did mention it has the steerable tag. It is the Cummins 605 horsepower with 1,950 pounds of torque. And there's another safety feature here that I wanna show you guys. Wow, look how good looking that X15 is. Uh, so this does have a fire suppression system here. They're really looking out for your safety when they've got all these features like the fire suppression system as well as those Tyron tire bands that we just saw. And I love that bright red Cummins X15. That's a beautiful engine there, beautiful power plant. And the styling that Ford Travel uses here on the back of the coach, a lot of really cool stuff going on. Uh, I was talking about the fades here, even in the back of the coach, you look, it goes from a black right here, and then you go into the middle of the coach, and it's more of a dark, deep burgundy, really beautiful coach. Look up top there, you've got all that marbling, and there's part of that camera system as well. We'll show you that when we drive the coach as well. And we're gonna take this coach on a test drive too. I'm gonna go in the back of the coach while it's going down the road. We're gonna give you the full tour of this one today. This also does have the emergency egress door, another huge safety uh, feature, side radiator coach. I also wanna point out how tall this rear slide out is. I'm 6'2", you can see it's just below my head height, but gives you a little bit of room to move around back here. Again, fully rounded off. And if you look at how Four Travel finishes everything out here, even on the insides of the slide outs, they have that same marbling and those gold pinstripes and some more red marbling and that. A lot of cool stuff going on. Also too, you'll notice the frameless windows. And if we look up here at these frameless windows, you'll see that it's got the blue lights, the LED lights around the parameter of the windows, giving it a really good look. And when we go inside, you'll see how much, uh, how much light those windows uh, bring in, really a lot of light. But let's keep going through these bays here. So real simple plumbing bay back here. Here's your gray and black water dump. And then it's got this hose that comes out. And I really like this. If for some reason a little bit of water leaks out, you have this manual dump valve that, that's the final valve. So even if there is a little bit of spillage in there, it doesn't fall out of the hose until you operate that valve. And all clean, you know, it's got this nice clean area back here for your sewer hose. Really nice how they finish everything out here. You've got outlets back here as well and an exterior shower here as well if need be. Here's your power 50 amp cord reel. This does have the Aqua Hot 450D. Again, very clean inside of here. You can see the hydraulic system, HWH hydraulic system is all very clean. There's the power 50 amp cord reel as well as the power uh, hose reel. It's just very clean and very well finished out, very simple. Yeah, so here's the other side of that full pass through bay with the full slide out tray. You can see I just pressed the button. The button is on the door here, making it really easy to get to. And that will come out both ways. So if we want to bring it out on this side as well. It'll come out on this side as well. And then here's the other side of that pass-through bay. You can see you've got extra tiles here. And then I really like this. This is the four travel owner's manuals here. You can see how high-end they are. It gives you, they give you this nice little box here. Then here's uh, all of your house batteries. And again, very clean when you get a close-up of all this everything in really good condition here yeah this coach has about 19,700 miles on it right now all right let's go inside and take a look at this coach i'm really excited to show you this coach the first thing i want to point out is the door it's a much wider door than you would see in a lot of other coaches and it's got all of this cool leather work on the inside of the door there is some led lighting it's a little bright outside so i don't know if you can see that but then all of this tile work here absolutely stunning entryway 
the way every square inch is finished out in this coach. Four Travel's been in business since 1967. Two-tone leather captain's chairs in excellent condition. The big wood grain steering wheel with that huge 15-inch digital dash up there as well as your camera systems. You do have some USB ports up front here your dash AC cup holder up here. There's your gear selector, your Hadley leveling system, all that good stuff. Over here in your passenger chair, I wanna point out it's got the four travel embroidery in the chair. You also have a navigation screen for your passenger, as well as a cup holder, a map pocket, some outlets as well as USB ports down here. This is an absolutely stunning floor plan with the huge sofas on both sides and everything is in excellent condition. Also, Four Travel has very large windows on both sides of the coach, as well as a storage here of overhead. And everything in here is finished out from these slide out faces. I've got to get you a close up. These tables, you can take these out as well if you don't want to have the tables there and those legs will go back in so that is another thing that you can do and then there's some extra dinette chairs that we can pull out as well uh, one other thing we're going to show you all of this when i test drive the coach in a moment but 200 gallon diesel fuel tank in this coach you could definitely put down some wheel time without having to stop it's got flat floor slides and a really cool two-tone look with this tile and then like a wood grain look but you can't really tell where the slide outs stop and where they end. And then when all of them come in, I'll show you that in a moment, but it's still gonna be flat floors even when the slide outs come in. Now, another thing really catching my attention is the ceiling work, just over the top, the way 4Travel finishes everything out. Uh, now this will fold out into a sleeper sofa. This is a this is all villa furniture so those of you that know villa is very high end and you could pull that out you also have countertop space next to your couch with a little uh, spot there for an outlet and a usb port and so we brought out these extra uh, dinette chairs there uh, if you want to load people up i mean the sitting in this coach you can have a lot of people sitting in here very comfortably at least three or four people over here at least another five or six over here definitely set up to have some people hanging out inside of this coach uh, now this refrigerator has some cool features that i don't know if i've ever seen in a motorhome it has a, a fill for hot water as well so if you want to fill your cup of coffee here or crushed ice cubed ice all of that good stuff and in very good condition you could see the previous owner had everything all lined and then the pull out freezer down here very large galley area here and i love how four travel finishes everything out You've got outlets with USB ports and just over the top tile work with the countertops. I believe these are granite, giving you that extra little shelf up there if you wanna have some decor pieces kind of stuck down up there. Built-in Brew Express coffee maker here. And notice how everything is either wood or uh, finished out with these very high-end materials. I like how they have the light switches. When you open your cabinets here, everything is lined with carpet and a very high-end finish there on the side as well. This is adjustable shelving. There's an outlet there in your cabinets. You have the uh, GE microwave. Little pull-out pantry here, as well as this little pull-out slide as well with that same high-end countertop. And then a lot of drawer space that come all the way out. Everything soft close as well. And then when you want to lock that in, you just have this little pin right here that you lock into place. More storage below your counter there. Look how deep that goes. Again, lined with carpet. Another pull-out drawer here. So there's some really cool stuff going on in the, bat in the bedroom that I want to show you in just a moment. But first, let me show you this half bathroom. It's just so high-end how this is finished out with that stonework on the walls. And you have plenty of room around your head area tile work all the way up the side of the coach i mean the full wall a lot of the rv companies will do like a half wall not for travel they went all the way up the wall you do have a vent with a fan as well as a window with the shade there i'm just gonna press a button there and that shade will come up all power shades and then a good size window there if you want to uh get a view of what's going on here while you're uh using the 
the half bathroom here. Very cool floor plan, unlike anything I've ever seen. It's got this little setup over here, but first I want to show you what they did with this use of space. You've got a stackable washer and dryer here in the middle of the coach. Great positioning for that. Nice wardrobe section here. And the nice thing about this is when the slide outs are all in, you can easily get to this wardrobe closet without having to jump over your bed there. It's all lined with cedar and that has and that lit up as soon as I open these closets as well. Got some drawer space here below. Again, all soft clothes. That real high-end decor work in the ceiling here. But what's really cool about this coach is this area right here. Okay. Yeah, so you can pull out this little area. Josh, you want to show them uh, what it does there? So it's yeah. like a makeup station here where you've got the lights with the large mirror. With the adjustable lighting as well. Okay, so you can turn that lighting up and down. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then all kinds of different little spots here to house your makeup and you can you know, slide this stuff around. You do have outlets and USB ports, uh, two outlets and USB ports. And then you have a ton of countertop space here behind this makeup area here, bedside, as well as some storage right here too, all lined with carpet. And then you have plenty of storage above the bed as well. Another little mirror right there. I've got to point out how high-end all this bedding is. King-size bed. Plenty of room here to get around your bed. You do have the TV on the televator. So you just press this button here. TV lift. We'll swing back around. And you have a huge window right there. But then when that TV comes up, we will uh, lose a little bit of that uh, natural light. Kind of close things off a little bit. Lots of storage in this coach. You can see both sides of the... TV are going to have storage as well as drawer space below. And then these are kind of a false cabinet because that's where your TV is stored. Uh, you do have a lot of countertop space on both sides of the bed with those outlets and USB ports, as I mentioned. And then again, no carpet on the slide outs, all those real high end finishes on the floor. And I like how they finish out these walls with these leather panels. And over here, you've got that kind of stone work up the wall. Again, that leather panel. And you do have light switches here when you're laying in bed. So if you want to adjust your lighting, uh, that can all be done while you're laying in bed. So one of the really cool parts about this coach too is it's got this very wide door going into the rear bathroom here, which almost kind of makes it like a master suite here. And a very large shower, uh, one of the larger showers in the industry with all that high-end tile work a rainforest style shower head as well as extra jets here as well as a spot to sit down there and a towel bar there and that's almost six feet away from your shower so a lot of times people don't like to have a towel bar in the shower but that's so far away i think you could take a shower without it getting wet and this is in really good condition i don't see any hard water spots really cool texture here in the sink and then all this high-end tile work with another level up there and Behind this medicine cabinet is where they're gonna have the safe there. So this is all lined with carpet, kind of hidden back there. And then a lot more wardrobe. And you can see that bright light lit up as soon as I opened that. And then more shelving down here. And then that emergency egress door, as we've talked about uh, earlier, definitely a very sought after feature all right josh you want to let me take this coach for a test drive Sure, absolutely sounds great all right we're going to take this 2020 four travel realm for a test drive now all right so i'm really excited to take this 2020 four travel for a test drive i don't know if i've ever driven a four travel before so this will be my first time and then also too we're going to have josh drive the coach and i'm going to go in the back of the coach while it's going down the road so you guys can get the full experience. So Cummins X15 605, I've driven it in other motorhomes, but never in a four travel. So this is really exciting. Also has that steerable tag axle. I'm just gonna kind of light on it right out of the gate here, just to kind of, whoa, I see that. <laughs> that pushed Josh back a little bit in his that seat now. Back, that threw me back in the seat. Yeah, now we do have to stop here to, uh, close the gate here but uh 
give me, I'll, I'll give a, the folks a quick look at all this. So I'm gonna put it in neutral, pull the brake there. Big four travel digital dash. This does have a built-in tire, uh, tire pressure monitoring system, as well as the collision avoidance. Uh, this system up here, it does have adaptive cruise control, as I mentioned earlier, really a lot of equipment. And I like how you can see Josh walking around on that rear view camera there. Now let's go through the different modes here. There's the side cameras. Here's another view of the back camera and the side cameras in a split screen. I really like that. There's the 360 degree, the overhead camera. So we're looking at the roof there. You could see those three 15,000 BTU air conditioners. I really like this. This, is, this has got one, two, three, four, five different camera angles. We could literally watch Josh walking around the side of the coach there. There's the top and the rear. There's another version of the rear. Uh, really cool, really nice setup. I'm gonna actually leave it like that just so I can see all of this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn the, uh, the ACs down here a little bit just so you guys can really hear what's going on here. All right. Nice wood grain steering wheel. I'm gonna make a right hand turn out of this lot so that we can get kind of an acceleration on it. And uh, yeah, this definitely has a lot of power here right out of the gate. I like the huge digital speedometer there. Very comfortable, very solid rig. Uh, I'd say I definitely, oh, I, I can see that collision avoidance uh, there. It's letting me know how far I am from the car in front of me. Um, and I could feel that Spartan K4 chassis. Uh, it's telling me 568 feet in what my speed is. A lot of cool information going on here. Uh, but yeah, that Spartan K4 chassis, I think I can feel how it's more robust. What did she say? Was I going too fast or? It might have been. Might have been you were, you were over the speed limit. I think she was telling me I was going over the speed limit. It must have dropped down to a 25 there. So as, so as soon as I turned on that right blinker, Josh, can you show him this camera over yep, here? Sure. And then if you could show him these rough roads that we're about to go oh, yeah. over. Yeah, they're rough down here. Do we have a, a dealer plate on? We got a cop behind us. It's all good. All right, this is uh, kind of like a zero to 60, zero to 55. I've got the pedal all the way down. Now we were coming out of a turn, but this coach is sailing. 1,950 foot pounds of torque. We're going 50 miles an hour. I think you're all 55. There no, it's still rolling, yeah. And 60, like nothing. Very smooth. I'm not hearing any squeaks or rattles coming from the back of the coach. I might be a little bit of wind noise somewhere here. I'm sure that can be addressed, but now oh, I got a sorry, I got a, I had a yellow light. We're testing the brake system. Stops very quickly, very easily. Beautiful coach. Josh, what did you think about how this drove when you drove the coach compared to? I was actually really impressed, especially with the horsepower and the and the uh, acceleration, especially out of the get-go. I mean, uh, I've drove the new Mars uh, with the same equivalent engine in them, and I tell you what, this one seems like it's maybe geared a little differently or something, but it's definitely got a lot more power, especially out of the uh, start. All right, we're gonna do a zero to 60 out of the gate here. We're gonna measure zero yeah. to 60 from when I hit the go button. Okay. We do have a sheriff next to us here. Can you see that sheriff over here? Uh, can you get a shot of him? Uh, oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a Manatee County Sheriff. All right, when this light hits green, I'm gonna fire it up and I'm gonna 
I'm gonna put the pedal to the metal here and go. We're at 25 miles an hour. You can see the sheriff is smoking us. We're now at 35 miles an hour. 40. 45. 50. 55 and 60 miles an hour. I think that may be the first zero to 60 in a four travel. And I'll be able to look back in the editing software and get an exact for everybody. We do have that uh, collision avoidance kicking in. Can you get everybody a close up of this dash yeah, as it's well? Really, it's really neat, huh? Yeah, see that collision avoidance up there where it's telling me. You know 463 feet how many miles an hour they're going because i'm going 58 and they were going 52 so it's pretty impressive really impressive system i'm impressed with the four travel overall when we get back to the dealership here in just a moment i want to talk price and we're going to see how much money you need to be the next owner of this coach but i'm going to enjoy this ride here in the meantime and Really an incredible machine, incredible opportunity for somebody here. But right now, Josh is driving the four travel down the road. And one thing that I wanna do is give you guys a tour of the coach while we're going down the road here. So right now the slide outs are in, so you can see, uh, so we'll, we'll walk to the back of it and you can hear how loud it is back there. Josh, what do you think about this four travel? It's a really nice machine. I mean, a 2020 at that. I mean, it's a really beautiful machine, well up kept. Uh, practically brand new. It's really a nice riding machine. Yeah, it's uh, it's got 19,000 miles on it. Uh, going over some rough Florida roads here. I always like to point that out to you guys, but I'm gonna, when Josh gets going here, I'm gonna roll to the back of the coach here just to give you guys that, you know, that just to give you guys the full tour, we wanna make these videos as best as possible for you guys. So sometimes when you're going down the road, you gotta ask your uh, co-pilot to go make a sandwich or get a drink or something. So I'm gonna go cruise back here. You can see those huge windows. And I just love how this is appointed. You guys can see I'm walking to the back of the coach here and we're, we're going over some bumps here in Florida, but you can get to that big king size bed, no problem. Now with that televator up, we don't see the huge window there, but you sit on the bed. This is a rear engine. We've got that big X15 going back there. So a little bit of noise, but I think I could close those bathroom doors and that would probably quiet it down a little bit. Let's go up here just to the middle of the coach. You can see a lot of seating here with the slide outs in. So you stopped at like a rest area or something and you just wanted to have, you know, a, a lunch or something. Really comfortable even going down the road. I don't know. If there are seat belts, I don't know if it is set up uh, to be going down the road and in, in all the seat belt laws and everything, but I want to give you guys the full experience here. All right. If you are a serious buyer, this coach is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $699,999, much less than they are new. It has 19,744 miles right now on it after I test drove it. Josh, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to test drive this vehicle. It's always been a pleasure. I mean, uh, I always have a great time when I'm out here with you, Andrew, so it's awesome. Hey, I, I appreciate that. Also, a huge thanks to Bradley Twait here at the Motor Coach Store. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Take care, folks.